Today we are going to learn how to paint the Hulk from Marvel Crisis Protocol. Then the entirety of the cosmos is accessible to each and every individual mind connected to the great mind. Welcome back to the channel collectors. So it's been a while because yeah the studio was under renovation and finally the renovations are done. So in today's video, we are going to learn how to paint the Incredible Hulk from Marvel Crisis Protocol. In order to do this paint job, I wanted to do something slightly different. I wanted to see how I can bring the 2D medium into 3D and I actually researched on how the Hulk was portrayed in comics and I was very attracted to this particular comic cover which was by Ewick and this is the Immortal Hulk number 3. I really like how the magenta underlight is showing into his muscles and how the Hulk was illuminated by the warm desert light allegedly. So I wanted to see how I could transfer this into the miniature and yeah this is the Hulk that I've painted. So collectors are you ready to go really in depth of how to paint the incredible Hulk from Marvel Crisis Protocol? There will be three videos for you guys. So in this first video, I'm going to be painting the skin from the Incredible Hulk. Make sure you stick all the way to the end because I'm going to be giving some tips and tricks along the way and these things will really help you bring out the strength of the Incredible Hulk. So if you're ready, let us begin. So these are the colors that you'll be needing to paint the Marvel Crisis Protocol Hulk. And just take note that this video is going to involve a lot of mixing, so be prepared. Let us begin. So I'm going to mix in chocolate brown with chimera magenta and a bit of olive green from Baleo Model Color and these will be the base colors for the initial layer. So how to place the highlights? I have this black and white picture which I have prepared right here so you can have a look. And I'm following the levels very very closely so that I get the shape of the highlight. In this video, we are going to be painting just the left shoulder and the face of the Hulk. You can use this same technique for the rest of the body. If you want to see the whole unadulterated version of how I painted the entire Hulk, do become a patron and you will get this video in the patron. Links will be in the description below, alright? So right now, I'm just placing the initial highlights with this brownish color. I'm deliberately leaving a portion of this magenta underneath. So this hulk was primed in Krylon Camo Brown and sprayed with Chimera Magenta. So gradually, I'm adding in a little bit more olive green for Palejo model color and I'm going to the subsequent stages. So at this point of time, I have made no value jumps, I'm just making a color jump. Okay, at this point of time, I just want to make sure that this is smooth. You don't want to create any textured surfaces. This is slightly different from the rest of the videos where I've constantly been overbrushing and yeah, I hope you guys continue to watch this because this is how I paint a display level miniature and of course you can use over brushing here but I really needed the precision of the shapes and the values to really portray how as seen in the Immortal Hulk number 3. At every point of time I'm making sure that the values are place correctly and all the transitions are done in a controlled fashion. So right here I'm going to be placing a very very strong highlight in the chest. So as always right now it might be a bit confusing you might ask how are the shapes done? But of course always 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 have reference and I'm very very closely referencing the black and white picture that I posted right up at the start of the video. So effectively one tip I can give you guys is just 
switch your brain off. Yeah, exactly. Switch your brain off diligently and with a high level of discipline and fidelity, follow the shapes of the highlights. Very, very important pro tip right here. That's how you get this looking good. All right, so now I'm adding in a little bit of blue model color khaki right here. And I'm placing in the highlights. So at this point of time, there are no blending involved. Everything right here until now is just layering. Okay. We haven't gone into the highlighting stages and all this right now are just layers upon layers with no blending. I like to stress upon the requirement to be very, very disciplined with the shapes. The shapes of the highlight are the key to creating this illusion of smoothness. So you can also use this same color scheme for painting all sorts of green skin stuff. You want to paint orcs, you want to paint uh, aliens, that's fine too. This video is channeled at people who wanted to paint the Incredible Hulk, but you can always just use the same colors and transfix them onto another miniature and yeah, don't be restricted by the colors, okay? So now we have the full range of highlight colors in. I've added in uh, Iraqi sand right here. So adding in Iraqi sand. I'm going to be placing even more warmer highlights. Remember, remember, I'm really going to stress this right now. Please don't blend anything at this point of time because you want to make sure that the shape and the highlight fidelity is as strong as possible. What happens when you start blending right now is the miniature will start looking very muddy and you lose its form. So don't do that. Just allow yourself to go through a period of no blending so that you can well enjoy the, the miniature and observe the form a lot more. Blending will come a lot later and it's a lot easier than you think. So if you are watching all the way to now, I want to put a little bit of a shameless plug right here because tomorrow's video, I'm going to talk to you guys about blending and how you should be blending. Rather than blending everything, I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks of how to save time and don't blend everything. Yeah. Also, if you are watching till now, I think you must have found this video somewhat entertaining and useful. So if you could, yes, now is the right time to give me a like and subscribe if you think and deserve it. Okay, so right here you can see, even with no blending, the contrast is really showing itself and the hump is really forming up. So adding in a little bit of ivory and Iraqi sand into the mix, going to be creating some stronger highlights here okay always make sure that i've added in a little bit of olive green so that this highlight doesn't lose its greenish properties starting to look a little bit like ang lee's hub right here i am really enjoying the color scheme and also if you are following this video till now i'd like to give you guys a public service of announcement as I've done in this entire video, don't blend, follow the shapes first. Following the shapes are really important. Can't stress this enough because, yeah, this is the whole essence of painting this hulk. Right here, you can see, as I've demonstrated, just by placing the highlights in a very, very precise manner, the entire paintwork already sells itself. Okay? So
So now I will consider this uh, somewhat of a highlight. And I'm going to use these highlights to ensure that the form of the hub is read as accurately as possible. For this hub, I'm painting him in uh, more or less one light source from the front. So that would be something interesting. So now I'm mixing a more desaturated brownish tone for the eyes. So when painting the sclera, which is the white of the eye, there are things that you should really avoid, which is using pure white. I've seen too many painters use pure white for the sclera because the values are not correct if you do that. Fundamentally, if you do that, it just means that the eye of the hub is glowing and if you're going after that result it's just fine man that's your paint job but for me I in this universe that I'm painting I don't think that the hulk has glowing eyes so not gonna use white gonna use something similar in value to the mid tone but just desaturate it okay so one interesting observation that you can draw from this entire paint job is I've fundamentally used the same colors throughout the entire paint job. And I've done eyes, I've done the hair, I've done the teeth, lips. And surprisingly, with the same paint colors, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint the pants and the base as well. So make sure you check out the third video, which will be coming out on Thursday, all right? So now mixing in a little bit of red. This is Chimera red. I'm gonna create some areas with blood vessels. So namely these areas would be the nose, the eyelids. Just making the hub a little bit more human. You don't want the hub to look entirely green all the way. You wanna give him some differentiating factors, differentiating areas to make this miniature look a little bit more interesting so I'm as usual I'm going to be focusing on the the knuckles the joints the nose the cheeks chest armpit elbows you guys know the drill already and inside the ears just making sure the value is correct too and after that I'm going to use a red tinted highlight to create some part separation and so with this technique I will finish up the hop and this is the finished result so you can check it out right here it's a nice little magenta glow and make sure you stay on and I'll catch you in a little bit so now that we've finished the skin and that was the first part of three videos. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. So if you're watching all the way to here, you must have found this video useful or somewhat entertaining. So why don't you help out the channel and I would appreciate if you give me a like and subscribe if you think I deserve it. Let me know what you think about the video. And at this point of time, I'd like to thank my patrons for allowing me to do this. It's because of the help, support and the donations of my Patreon that gives me time to paint and record these videos. So if you want to help out the channel even further, I would appreciate if you head on to the Patreon. Links in the description below and yeah, the exclusive video for this series would be the unadulterated one and a half hour of a marathon kind of video where I talk about the entire process of how I painted the hulk so that you can do it too. Alright, so I hope to catch you in the next video. See you.